Listening Part One. Listen, and for questions one to eight, choose the best answer: A, B, or C. One. You hear someone on the radio reviewing a play. Red Roses is a new play about a young Russian girl living in London who wants to become an actress, but has to work on a flower stall to make a living. The story is powerful and moving. The acting in general is good too, although I found some of the characters slightly unbelievable. I think this was a problem with the way their parts were written rather than the way the actors performed. Overall, I recommend going to see the play. It lasts approximately two hours and is on for the rest of this week. Two. You hear two friends talking about learning something new. I'd quite like to do something a bit unusual. Not a sport or a language or anything like that. Something a bit creative, maybe, like painting. I agree. I already do basketball, but I've probably got time for another hobby too. The problem is, I'm really not very good at painting. I'm about as good at it as I am at dancing. <laughs> In that case, an art class sounds just right for you. You'll soon learn. And I really want to give it a try. Well, all right then. It'll be fun if we do it together. Three. You hear a young woman talking on the radio. My mother is an actress, and my father is a film director. So. I suppose they had a big influence on my career ambitions when I was young. I joined a drama class and got a few parts in TV commercials, but I was more interested in the script and the way it was directed than in acting. I've always been a keen reader, so I suppose I naturally thought about being an author. I wrote my first short story when I was about fifteen. And after that, nothing could stop me. I didn't do much acting after that. Four. You hear two friends talking. I fancy something to eat. What about you? Yeah, good idea. Shall we have something in the cafe? It looks really busy though. Or we could go outside. It's a lovely sunny day. True, but will they let us back in again? I haven't seen everything I want to see yet. Of course they will. We've got tickets, haven't we? People spend all day in these places. They can come and go as they please. Five. You hear a musician talking about his band. Of course, we had talent. Take our lead guitarist, for example. I don't know anyone who can play like him. But talent isn't enough if nobody notices you. Everything changed after we got our new manager, Lucy. Lucy had friends in the music industry, like record producers and people on TV. She got us auditions, concerts, and a lot of media coverage too. Then it all happened really fast. We went from performing in restaurants and at weddings to making headlines. Without Lucy, we would be nothing. Six. You hear a boy and girl talking about their plans. It's still raining. What do you want to do this afternoon? We could play computer games. Or how about going round to Megan's house? Megan's away this week, and I don't really want to stay at home just because it's raining. I know. Dad can take us into the metro centre. Cool. I need to buy some trainers, and there are some good shops there. Maybe there's a film on at the cinema too. There's nothing good on this week, but I'm happy to go around town.